Hi guys and welcome back to my Hi guys and welcome back to my vlogging channel in this little vlog we're gonna be well I can't say unboxing it's just unwrapping this little one pound mouse from Poundland for this couple of weeks ago and it is literally one pound one great British pound sterling no manufacturer's name on it just copyright entertainment and it just says optical mouse um, C mark don't know if that's fake or not um, click click <laughs> I have no idea how good this is going to be compared to my um, Razer Abus uh, Abyss uh, Abyss I don't know 2014 Let's just open it up and let's see. I oh, should it looks like it's got one of these little like, things that's got Minecraft open on the laptop here. Am I gonna need another hand to this mm -hmm. and it stinks of cheap plastic? Like oh my goodness, this is appalling. Look how tiny it is. Oh, focus, please. Thank you. Like, oh wow. What does it say on it? It says, I don't know if it's going to focus on that. It says optical mouse. Uh, that's it. Made in China. It's made in China. It looks like it was made in 2018. Wow. <laughs> I'm lost for words at how cheap this thing feels. Oh, it does. It feels horrible. Um, let's just plug it in. I'm a little cable tie. Even the cable tie feels cheap. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> just wow. The cable's so thin. Oh, that's a bit in my right hand. Oh, it is. Oh, it feels. It feels honestly dreadful. Oh my goodness. Let's put, let's plug it in. See if it actually works. Let's plug it into our USB port. Oh, it lights. I thought it was gonna light up blue actually, but it lights up red. I guess that's just from the little laser from the well little laser thing. Which strangely, this one doesn't have it. Well, it does kind of it like. I guess it must be ultraviolet because it's lighting up purple. Maybe infrared, but let's see, let's see if it works. Well, it does, I'm moving it. <laughs> it moves, slowly. Um, let's go into multiplayer. Let's just connect, oh, the scroll wheel feels terrible. Let's connect, connect to my server. Oh, it is horrible. <laughs> Logging in. Now, of course, we won't be able to use our beautiful Apple keyboard to move around but goes with holding the camera but let's kind of see how it reacts in here I'm logged in with my old account that's why it's um that's why we've got the old oh my gosh look at that sheep that's why we've got the old like Christmas skin but hey let's kind of move around with it let's see if we can oh my goodness let's spawn another sheep Oh wow, this film was so bad. Like, oh gosh, I couldn't imagine actually using this, like, as your main mouse. Like, I says I'm used, I'm so used to using like sort of. I mean, this is like, I think this was like, you know, I think I've got these for thirty pound each. I've got one there and one on my desktop, which is kind of shoved over here at the moment because. I'm moving stuff around, but I'm so used to using like an expensive mouse that this can't, this phone's can't be focusing so bad. But I'm using a cheap one is just feels so wrong. Like <laughs> this is you could buy. I think this is thirty-two pound. You could buy thirty-two of these for the price of this one. That is astonishing. But I couldn't even imagine what would you even buy a pound mice for 
mouse for and actually use it for something. I literally brought it a couple of months ago just to see what it was like and honestly I couldn't imagine that <laughs> Jeb. I couldn't imagine actually what? What? <laughs> Why can I not hit them? Well that's strange. Should be able to hit them. Hmm. Don't know why I can't, but whatever. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, this is honestly just trash to be honest. I mean I think it's actually do you have more LEDs or is it literally just lit up by one red LED that does the bottom, which for some reason kind of flickers, which is a bit weird. But I don't know if it's made see-through to be cheap or just kind of to look kind of like cool. I know that sort of see-through plastic look was very it was very fashionable kind of in the early two thousands with the IMAX and that, but Wow. <laughs> I'm kind of lost for words. Just even just holding it, it is so light. It feels so cheap. Just I I can't even imagine like what you would actually buy this for unless you you know just kind of bought it. I don't know if you click click. I don't know who makes it. Um, there is no manufacturer's label at all, but it is. Uh, it's not going to focus at all because of the light, but it is tested to comply with. FCC standards, so I'm going to guess it's probably designed from American use, but then it's got just the C logo on the pack, so. And then it's also got a um, UK postcode, so I don't know if that's just, maybe that's just Poundland's address, and they just brought these like really cheap from China somewhere, but, and just repackaged them, I have no idea, but anyway, that's my little review of the Click click optical mouse, the one pound mouse from Poundland. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Smack that like button if you did, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys! Okay, so I just thought I'd run a little LS USB command on here just to kind of see what comes up. And we've got our, um, for some reason the uh, lights come on here, but I reckon it must, the mouse must be this here. Soyvin. Sighing Corp. So that's maybe the manufacturer of it because I know Atmel's touchscreen, obviously Razer USA, Apple. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this must be my book. Even just having it in the room, I can literally smell the cheap plastic. It is appalling. But yeah, so <laughs> there it is. One last look before I put it back in its little bag in. Probably never use it again to be honest, but yeah, there it is the awesome click click optical mouse.